we were basically pushing into the northern side of Babaji uh, and we had to clear a main road. And we knew it was heavily laid with uh, IEDs at the time because previous units have tried to go down there. So we were tasked by clearing this road. We had the uh, AOD team with us and uh, I was pushed in the eastern flank as of the village as it was. And basically we were pushing through that uh, from first light. So it's very slow to start with and the atmospherics was really good. So there's loads of children and everybody about speaking to us, coming up and asking for chocolates and pens as normal. And then about an hour and a half after that, the atmospherics completely changed. Everybody started disappearing and we knew there was something off, if that makes sense. Uh, and we were basically in a compound wall. Basically it was like a shape, sort of T-shape where it was running into a compound and there was a narrow road that ran down the side there. And we were just down there and it initially started with one times uh, and surging with a RPG. So at the time the GPMG gunner obviously called out, went to take a shot and he unfortunately got a stoppage. So I then came round the corner, turned a stance and he fired the RPG and it just missed us, missed myself as well. And then from there, we kind of pulled back and re, uh, reinsert it using the rooftops because it'd be more feasible to do that. So we'd have better use of uh, the ground to our advantage as such. Um, so that was about maybe 200 metres we pushed over series walls and rooftops till we got to the forward edge. It was basically an open field and then the far side of that was a, a, a wadi, such a small wadi with a river and a tree line. Uh, and basically we were there for 11 hours. So myself being the commander, I think we just say is the credit of that, but it wasn't just me. On that day, everybody there was fantastic. Uh, all the private soldiers and my two IC, one of my best friends was there. We were all as a team and doing our job effectively that we needed to do. Uh, and on that day, we did actually it come over the radio that would kill quite a lot of enemy. Yeah, the guys on the ground were fantastic that day, and that's basically what we led up to getting the military cross for 11 hours in 45 degrees heat. That was a, a interesting day, should I say. So the World Ceremony was in Hollywood Palace. It's the first time I'd ever been there. First time I'd ever met the Queen. Uh, I'd seen the Queen before in the form up of the a regiment on the news and stuff like that, um, but I'd never met her before, so I think I was very nervous at the time. It was the first time I'd ever been in Hollywood Palace and met the Queen. I had my family as well there, uh, which made it that wee bit more nervous, but um, I was very proud, and the Queen was asking me questions on the day about it, uh, which <laughs> was interesting, some of the stuff she was asking, yeah, but she was very keen to understand what happened within that day, and then when she put it in my chest, you know, I was very proud about it because it's something not everybody gets and it wasn't just me as I keep saying it was all my colleagues but on that day it was on behalf of them as well. <laughs> well it was uncomfortable because it was during the summer let's put it that way with my number twos on in the uh, in actual studio getting painted so there was a lot of time I had to stop because it was you know with the heat needing it to get hydrated and stuff with that but it was very interesting I had something I've never ever done before. I think it's really, it's really good. The only thing I'll say, it was hot like this time of the year as well, and my eyebrows go bleach blonde <laughs> uh, in the sun. It's not that bad at the moment, but in the, the portrait, they're bleach blonde in that. So that's the only thing I'd say is I don't like about it, but that's just how it was on the day. My eyebrows aren't normally uh, bleach blonde, but it's fantastic. I love it. The detail that he brought out in it itself, all the different colours. The Royal Scotland uniform is it's lovely. Yeah, absolutely lovely. I get married in my number ones as well because I absolutely loved it and uh, it just brings out the colours. Contrast that he's done with the actual portrait itself is fantastic. What I would like for people to view and think about the portraits is to be very proud of the armed forces that Britain has uh, and be very proud of what they've achieved throughout the generations. This being the 100 year anniversary of World War I um, and it portrays that because it's modern soldiers, it's getting painted, and also soldiers from older generations, from World War II, etc. I think they should be very proud of that and, and realise that some of the soldiers have given the ultimate sacrifice for the freedom within the country. And I just think people you know, should be very proud of what soldiers have done from the past generation and going forward as well.